Peace be with you. With you and your spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory Glory to Christ Christ our Lord. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that they were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him, and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. In glory to God forever. Glory to Christ our Lord. Good evening, everyone. Happy New Year to all of you. You know, I really love uh, this time of year, um, whenever it's a new year, because I always make a joke and tell my friends, you know, New Year, New Me. And then my friend tells me, yeah, right, keep trying. He's probably laughing at me over here. But anyways, um, so we always like to make, uh, we like to make a lot of goals for the new year, right? Sometimes we fail, sometimes we don't, you know, we go back and forth. But I love that time of year because we always need to renew ourselves in Jesus. Maybe that's why some of you are at Wednesday Mass. You're probably like, you know, why not go to extra Mass sometimes during the year? So in this reading today, we notice how the people are pressing in on Jesus, and they're listening, it says, to the Word of God, and then Jesus gets into the boat, into Simon's boat, and then he begins to preach to them. So the people, they're hearing the Word of God, they're soaking in God's Word, And then all of a sudden, Jesus says to Simon, he says, now, take the boat deeper. Go deeper into the waters. And so it's the same thing with all of us. A lot of times we hear the word of God, and then Jesus invites us to go even deeper. He says, now, come out. Make an act of faith. Trust me. Walk on the water. Go deeper into the waters. And so immediately, when... Jesus says to Simon, he said to him, throw the net on the other side, of, on the right side of the boat. And, and he says to him, at first he says, we've worked hard all night and have caught nothing. So Jesus is reminding St. Peter, he's basically saying to him, you've been fishing this whole night without me, right? Sometimes in our life, we can just take control of the wheel and say, Jesus, I'm in control. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing all the work without you, and I think I'm going to get all the blessings of life, you know, and then we fall short. And so immediately, when but Peter realizes, he says, but I trust you, Jesus. We just spent hours, who knows how long, cleaning these nets, and we caught nothing all night, but I trust you. So Peter trusts Jesus. He throws the net on the, on, into the waters, And they catch such a great number of fish that their nets were tearing. So he just said he caught nothing, zero, all night. And all of a sudden, two boats are now sinking, filled with fish. So much so where St. Peter is literally looking at Jesus and he's like, I am a sinner, depart from me. So sometimes, if we encounter God in our life and we start to encounter him, we start realizing our sinfulness. Whenever we get closer to Jesus, maybe you spend more time with the Eucharist, maybe you've been reading your Bible more, and then all of a sudden you start realizing, wow, I'm a sinner. I'm, I'm a sinner. And so Jesus says to all of us, he says, but don't be afraid. I still have work for you to do. You'll be catching men. And so we can relate to this and say, the closer we get to Jesus, we see our sinfulness, but we don't have to be afraid, Right? 
So this new year, you're going to get closer to Jesus, and maybe Jesus is going to show you your sins more. But we don't have to be afraid. And so, isn't it amazing how even though St. Peter, he realizes he's such a sinner, and Jesus doesn't push him away. And that's why I really like this gospel. Because sometimes we think that we have all these sins, and Jesus says, okay, well, I'm done with you. I can't work with you, Father Kevin. You just, you know, you're just too whatever you are. I'm not going to say. But whatever that is, whatever your sin is, Jesus doesn't say that. He says, sure, you, you were gossiping last week a lot, but I'm not done with you. Sure, last week you, you know, you, I'm not, I don't know, I'm going to give you an example. Okay, whatever it is. Okay, say you have whatever sin it is, right? Just fill in the blank. Just be yourself. Jesus doesn't, he, we always think sometimes God is so far. And it's the opposite. He literally comes so much closer to you. He sits right next to you. And he basically says, well, are you going to get up now? Are you, are you going to start fresh? Are you going to trust me again? Are you going to come closer to me? So this year, let's not grow discouraged about our sins, but let's give them all to Jesus and ask him really to give us that faith that we need to grow deeper into the waters. And when we do, he's going to make our life very fruitful. Amen.